Also on the Monterey Peninsula, a battle is brewing over a pet park in Delray Oaks. Action News reporter Jacqueline Mazur is outside our Monterey newsroom to explain. Jacqueline? Aaron, the battle is between some residents who are in Delray Oaks who uh, take their dog to the dog park. The city is now deciding to charge them $120 per year to utilize the public park. And the fear is if that they don't pay, the, par the city will simply get rid of the park altogether. You know, who's going to monitor this park? When the visitors come in, do we say, oh, I'm sorry, have you paid your $120 fee? Delray Oaks resident and pet owner Diane LaCicero McWhorter says she's willing to do what it takes to keep the dog park open for all to enjoy and tells us the proposed $120 entrance fee per dog per year has got to go. I would just hate to see a lot of the people I know who cannot afford this, especially if they have three dogs. And the sister McWhorter is not the only one who opposes the fee. Dog owners say part of the park's charm is that it's a complimentary amenity. I don't know if we would keep coming if there was a fee. Trouble is, though, there are several upgrades that both pet owners and city leaders agree need to be addressed. And that means spending money that city employees tell us they simply don't have. They say the $120 usage fee would be used solely to upgrade the dog park. Some of us, myself included, have volunteered to do park maintenance build other benches and other amenities for the park and have had no response from the city. Then the issue cannot be about money. It has to do with people who do not like dogs. And Action News did speak with neighbors off camera today who do tell us they do have a problem with the park. They say part of the problem is that some pet owners aren't picking up after their pets. They cite incessant barking as another issue. And they say that some of the animals are actually aggressive that are in that park area. So city leaders, meantime, plan on addressing this controversy one way or another on August 26th during their regularly scheduled council meeting. And they're encouraging the community to attend. Erin. Jacqueline, thank you. If council ultimately does approve the $120 use fee, it will go into effect in January of next year.